In this video, we'll look at how to find the scalar of equa equation of a plane passing through three given points. This question is right out of your textbook. It's page 285, question 7a. The points given are 1, 1, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, and 3, negative 1, 2. So, the first thing we have to do is find direction vectors, because we want a normal vector, but in order to get the normal vector, we first need direction vectors. These are points. Well, I'm going to start by calculating a vector on the plane. You can take any combination you want, as long as you don't repeat. So I'm going to start with this point and take away this one. In other words, I want to find the direction vector from this second point to this third point. And that's just going to be 3, negative 1, 2, take away 1, 2, 3. And when I subtract their components, I'll have, I'll have a direction vector from point 2 to point 3. So what's 3, take away 1? 2. What's negative 1 minus 2? Negative 3. And what's 2 minus 3? Negative 1. Got my first direction vector. I'll get a second direction vector by doing, I could have used these two points, but I'm going to go with this, take away this. In other words, I want a direction vector from point 1 to point 3. So I'll start with 3, negative 1, 2, and I'll subtract 1, 1, negative 1. When I do that, I get, well, 3 take away 1 is just 2. And negative 1 take away 1 is negative 2. And 2 take away a negative is a positive, so 2 plus 1 is 3. So I've got my two direction vectors, and I'm going to use the point later, 1, 1, negative 1. Now that I have two direction vectors on the plane, I can find the normal to the plane. And we've learned that, if you didn't learn, here it is, the normal vector is just the cross product of two direction vectors on the plane. That is, I can find this normal vector by taking the cross product of the two direction vectors. And if you don't know how to do cross product, please watch the video on cross product. Otherwise, I'm going to do my work over here. So, write down the components twice. Okay, got it, and then cross these out, and now I'm going to do cross product. So negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 minus 2. That's going to give negative 11. You can use your calculator for that. It's a bit tricky. Negative 9 minus these two become positive, so minus positive 2 is negative 11. Now these two, negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. And these last ones, negative 4 minus minus 6, it's negative 4 plus 6. So what's negative 4 plus 6? We get positive 2. Okay, we got our normal vector. That allows us to write the coefficients. We get negative 11x minus 8y plus 2z plus some unknown constant d equals 0. And that's because the scalar equation of the plane is just the components of the normal vector, but we need to solve for this constant d. We can do that by subbing in a point, any point, but I pick this one. And we get negative 11 times 1 minus 8 times 1 plus 2 times negative 1 plus d. So what we get is negative 11 minus 8 minus 2 plus d equals 0. And then minus 11 minus 8 minus 2, that's negative 19. So negative 21 plus d equals 0. So d equals negative 21. So we have, almost there, we have the equation negative 11x minus 8y plus 2z minus 21 equals 0. And we could have done this earlier. You might have noticed up here this coefficient's negative, that's not going to be good for us in our final answer. So, for our final answer, we're just going to have to multiply everything by negative. That is, we always want the x to have a positive coefficient, so we times each coefficient by negative 1, or if you want to think about it this way, we flip all the coefficients. And so we have, therefore, the equation is 11x plus 8y minus 
2z plus 21 equals 0. And how did we get that? We were given three points. We found direction vectors using those points, two different direction vectors. And then we did the cross product of those two direction vectors to get the normal vector. We used the components of the normal vector to set up the scalar equation, but we didn't know constant d. So we subbed in a point into x, y, and z, and then solve for d. When we did that, we had our equation. We just had to make sure that the x coefficient was positive. We also could have checked to make sure that there was nothing to reduce. We couldn't divide everything by a constant. We can't, because nothing goes into 11, that goes into 8, that goes into 2 and 21. Therefore, we got our final scalar equation of a plane that passes through three points.